guys welcome back again to another sit down video with me how are you guys doing today long time no see i am sorry guys i have not been consistent in the past one week or in the last one week i am so sorry about that your girl has been very very busy extremely busy only two hands but the workload on me is massive you know i'm sorry guys so um, I'm here this afternoon to just um, talk about something that happened to me and to encourage someone that all hope can never be lost. That it doesn't matter what happens, that God is always by your side. Whatever you're going through, know that God is going through it with you. So never give up, never lose hope. Pray the right prayers and you will see help will come for you. So something happened yesterday to me. Um, I went after picking the boys from school on our way back. I branched the market to get a few things that I needed in the house. So um, I dropped the boys at a customer's place because I don't want to be carrying them inside the market, you know. So I dropped them and I went ahead to get the things that I needed to buy. So I had finished buying thankfully and i went into the car to start the car and the car did not respond to me the, the car dis decided to have a mind of its own yesterday he decided that he will waste my time or it will waste my time in the market and you know what <laughs> i was where katakata started with. the usual I mean i have one stone in the car once the car misbehaves like that no one starts you know one correct he had no one correct I carry the stone and hit the head, the two head horns, and that's the batteries, and it responds immediately, immediately, it responds immediately. But yesterday wasn't funny, guys. I did that for three good times. I did the first time, tried to start the car, when, second time, when, third time, the car say, no, you are going nowhere, auntie. And I was there confused, looking for help, but no one came to my rescue. All the cars that were passing refused to answer me. I was begging, you know. But Nigeria people said they would not hear me. Oh, it was embarrassing and it wasn't funny because the sun was hot. It was extremely hot. So I tried again the fourth time and it did not respond. So I thought maybe... It is full because the fur was already showing me it was on reserve and i said ah, maybe back back reserve on oh, don't finish so i went to the booth i saw this two liter ever water can i said okay let me go and get fuel and put in the car so that it can start you know so i went to the first first station unfortunately for me there was no fuel so i was walking down to the nearest first station and i met the woman washing for me and i called her we were just talking talking and then i don't know something that said i should raise the rubber that I was carrying up i raised it up and it was broken how do i buy fuel already i don't they vex and vex don't act again i was like what is all this what is all this rubbish that was the word that came out of my mouth what is all this rubbish for you know so i was walking i threw the rubber away i was walking down to where i parked the car and on the pavement i just did a short prayer i was like these were my words because i can still remember vividly i said lord jesus i need help from you the car is not starting and no one is willing to help. I need you to send me an angel. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I trust you that you are more than capable of doing it. If you can do other miracles, this is small compared to the miracles that you do on a daily basis. Please, I need help. And so I left um, and I left and went to where I parked the car. So on getting there, I saw a KK man standing by the car in my mind. Perhaps maybe not the angel where God don't send for me. And I called him and said, Daddy, please, I don't know what is wrong with this car. It's not starting. Can you help me? He was now asking me, is it bad? I said, at this point, I don't know. I said, maybe it is poor. He now said, okay, try and start it. I tried and 
this time around the thing did not respond other times it was trying to start but this fifth time now it refused to start you know on there was no light coming in there was no sound whatsoever and i was confused and so the kk man was already carrying a passenger and the woman now shouted oh guy i want to go come and take me to my destination and the man left me so i resolved to okay carrying the things and looking for another kk to take us home you know i said okay and when I, by the time i get to church that i would look for who would help me i would source for help that was what i told myself and so i went into the car i picked my purse and i also picked my phone that i left and the house key that was in the car but before i locked the door something told me to to start the car again i was like start the car again after i don't try five times it no happen now now i said there's no point but you know i was not, my mind wasn't at rest i said okay let me just do as my mind or as my heart is saying my heart be my mind or as my spirit is leading me so guys to my greatest surprise when i put the key try to ignite it i've been out to detect talk at this point i know even know but the thing responded guys i said it responded and where i dear dear and then i lifted up my hands i was like jesus there were some girls sitting and we were watching everything that was happening. I raised my hand and I was like, Jesus, is this how you answer prayer? Is this how you do miracles? I was very happy and that was how I, I drove off, picked the boys and we went home. You know, we came back home and I was like, see, I kept on thinking about the thing. I was thinking about the thing so much and I just knew it was God. It was all God and that, that, that silent prayer I made, I really had confidence in that prayer as I made and God heard me, he answered me speedily. So this morning, this afternoon, I want to encourage you. I don't know who is going to watch this video. I don't know who is watching it at this moment. I don't know what you're faced with. I don't know what it is that you've been praying for, asking God, and you feel that God is not listening. My sister, my brother, God is hearing you or he has heard you and believe it or not, he has made a way. Soon you will see the manifestation. That small prayer I made, one minute, less than one minute prayer I made gave me the miracle that I needed. I wanted an angel and God came down by himself, you know, to, to help me fix the car. And I just said, I'll come to this channel and 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 you know i'll come to this channel and encourage someone see the way things are going life isn't fair life isn't treating people nicely but i need you to hold on to god i need you to trust in god i need you to believe that god hears you that whatever you pray believe me from today from this moment that you're watching this video whatsoever i dare you to ask god for anything i dare you to believe god that you want something and that thing will be given to you so the miracle god did for me i decided to come and share to my youtube family since i cannot share it to everybody you know but i know on here i have some family I've been, I've been able to build some family and also relationships so i decided to come and share it with with you guys i hope you guys absolutely found <coughs> this video helpful i hope you're encouraged in one way or the other please give this video a thumbs up please subscribe if you're yet to subscribe and also share and comment on this video until i see you next time please stay cool take care of yourself be prayerful be watchful because the days are evil and so many things are happening and i pray that your life and mine is preserved by the mercy of god amen see you guys next time bye and i love 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 you